Hey gang, welcome back to another video. So this week I'm taking a bit of a deviation from the usual tip or technique video because I was recently sent the Gerano Cube 4 projector. And while projectors are no stranger to the channel, I wanted to do something a little bit different and well, kind of wanted to tie it into another project I've been wanting to tackle for a while, which is to build a gonk droid. So in this video, I'm gonna be making a gonk projector. So let's get to it. Like most people, I decided to use a few storage bins for the body of my gonk, but I wanted to give them the look of the original trilogy version, so I went with these really simple ones and got right to marking out my cut lines with some tape, and then using my multi-tool to cut away the sections where the insets will go. Slow and steady is the only way to do this, since these bins can be a bit brittle and may crack if you're a bit too aggressive. I used a utility knife with a fresh blade on my first attempt, but I immediately stopped when I cracked the edge of the bin and had to start over on a brand new one. So learn from my mistakes and tread lightly. Once the strips were cut, I grabbed some sandpaper and started to smooth out the openings. This will help me to straighten out any areas where I may have gone a little off course and is a must to get rid of the bits of plastic left behind from cutting the openings. And while I'm at it, I decided to give the whole bin a light sanding to help with paint adhesion. Future me will learn that I should have used 220 grit rather than 120 grit paper because it'll leave deep scratches that will need to be addressed later. While I continued to cut the other openings and sanding down the bins, I set up my Glowforge to cut the insert pieces from some 8th inch MDF. This will help to give it the original trilogy look and will add some rigidity to the overall structure. Once the laser was finished, I glued all the pieces together with CA glue and then it was time to add a bit of a roundover. Now these bins have a soft curve at the bottom and this will allow me to remove a little bit at a time until they match the curve perfectly. The next thing on my list is to build an interior structure that will give me a place to mount the legs. So I cut down some leftover 1x2s and used some CA glue as a temporary hold before pre-drilling my holes and screwing the whole thing together. Then it was time to add a top. Longtime viewers of the channel may recognize the pattern on this piece of plywood. I've been kicking it around for too long and so I decided to cut it down for this prop, especially since you won't see it. So the fact that it's a little beat up didn't matter either. After a quick test fit, I realized that I needed to notch out the long sides to allow for the laser cut inserts. So I marked it off with my speed square and then cut the notches with my pull saw. And after another quick test fit, it was time to screw it all in place. Then I marked out where the opening will be, since I want the legs to be recessed into the body, and cut another hole into the bin with my multi-tool. With the opening cut and sanded, it was time to figure out the leg placement. The opening I cut wasn't quite wide enough, but I realized that I could remove a little rounded area that would give the leg pieces just the right amount of space. So I marked it off and then used my rotary tool with a sanding bit to remove the excess plastic. And then it was time to get the legs situated. I'm using three inch pipe and cap and drilled a few holes into each cap to make affixing it to the plywood easier. I added on four inch drainage tubing to give the legs that classic gonk look and then screwed each leg in place. This is all friction fit for now and will be disassembled for painting before it's permanently attached. 
The droid will eventually be mounted to a plywood round for stability, so I added these 3 inch toilet flanges to give a better mounting point. It'll also give me a way to connect the 3D printed feet. I found this 3D model for the feet online and figured it would be faster to print them and would free me up to work on other parts of the build. But if you didn't have a 3D printer, you could make them out of anything from 4x4s or even smaller storage bins. There are no rules when it comes to building your own gonk droid. Now that the inner structure and legs are attached, it's time to glue in the side inserts. I found during the build that these plastic bins, even after sanding, didn't really get along with the CA glue or the accelerator. So while I'm using it in this footage, I eventually go back with hot glue to ensure a good bond. Quickly switching gears, I'm going to add in the front opening for the face of the gonk. I've 3D modeled an insert with an opening designed specifically for the Gerano Cube 4 projector, which will get installed a little bit later. Because this large cutout weakened the storage bin a bit, I added in a few scraps of MDF with hot glue to help with stability. I'll do this in a few other spots along the way since these clear bins tend to be a bit more susceptible to cracking under pressure. I'm also adding on detail pieces to the outside in 8th inch MDF, which should help with overall stability as well. With the bulk of the upper portion nearly finished, I needed to add in a band to hide the seam between the two bins. And for this I'm using Sintra, which is a lightweight PVC board. The Sintra plus some grommets will help to keep the band in place and will also allow the lower bin to nestle into the upper one for proper alignment. I cut these bands out of a larger sheet of Sintra with a razor blade, but unfortunately they weren't quite long enough to wrap all the way around. So I used some filler pieces and will glue on some offcuts to hide the seams. Shifting back around to the face, I grabbed my hot glue gun and applied a bead of glue around the flange of the 3D printed part and then followed up by adding more glue from the inside to make sure it wouldn't come loose. And now for a test fit. Well, there's still a lot to be done, but I think this is a good spot for us to wrap it up for this video. And part two will be all the painting and weathering and final touches. A special thanks to the video sponsor, Gerano, for sending me the Cube 4 projector, which I'm excited to get mounted up inside of this gonk droid. Well, that's gonna do it for this one. Be sure to like and subscribe if you haven't already, but most importantly, go make something.